Arena Sabalenka versus Coco Goff is the final of the US Open for 2023. And both ladies have fought to get to this stage. Goff entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on the qualifier Sigamund in the first round. And after dropping the first set, she would fight through the win, 3-6, 6-2, 6-4. In the second round, she'd take on Andreva, winning in straight, 6-3, 6-2. The third round, she'd take on the 32 seed Mertens. And after dropping the first set, Goff would fight back to win, 3-6, 6-3, 6-6, love. In the fourth round, she'd take on Wozniacki. And after splitting the first two sets, Goff would fight back to win 6-3, 3-6, 6-1 to advance to another US Open quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the 20th seed Ostapenko, who had just taken out Fiontek in the previous round. But there's no problem for Goff getting through in straights 6-love, 6-2 to advance to her first semifinal at the US Open. In the semifinals, Goff would take on the number 10 seed Mukova. And after a close first set and an interruption in the second, Goff would get through in straights 6-4, 7-5 to advance to her first US Open final. Sabalenka entered the tournament as an number two seed and would take on Zanevska in the first round. But this was an easy win, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Burridge. And again, an easy win, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on Burrell. And again, Sabalenka destroys her, 6-1, 6-1. In the fourth round, she'd take on Kazakina, the 13th seed. And again, Sabalenka on fire, destroying her in straight sets, 6-1, 6-3, to advance to another quarterfinal of the US Open. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on Zhang, the 23rd seed. And after an easy first set, Sabalenka would wrap it up in straights, 6-1, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would take on the 17 seed Keys, with Sabalenka having to fight back from a set down and a break in both the second and third sets to eventually prevail in three, Love 6, 7-6, seven, 7-6, six, seven, six, to advance to her first US Open final. These two have played five times before with Goff actually leading the head-to-head 3-2. -head Sabalenka had won their last match, though, at Indian Wells, but the way Goff's been playing post-Wimbledon is a lot different to the Goff that Sabalenka Sabalenka played back in the start of the year. If Goff's gonna win this one, she's to use the crowd to her advantage. But Sabalenka does get a little emotional, so using the crowd will really help Goff get through those nerves, especially early in the match. She also needs to hold her serve because she did give the break up at the first and the second set against Mukova. So when she gets that break, if she can get that break, she needs to hold on to it with good serving. If Sabalenka's gonna win this one, she needs to get off to a better start than she did against Keys. Six love in the first set's not gonna cut it in a final of a Grand Slam, especially with the crowd going for Goff. She's also gonna be less emotional as well because she was so emotional in the first set and a half against Keys until she started to calm down and get it together and take over the baseline with the ground strokes and of course use that serve. What a great final. The winner of this match, if it's Goff, will be number three in the world. And of course, Sabalenka has already wrapped up the number one spot come next week, but I've got to go with Sabalenka to win this one. I feel like winning the Australian Open at the start of the year and also, and finally getting through that semi-final curse that she's been dealing with the last couple of slams, I think I've got to go with her in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who's winning the US Open.